this is Mary with All Things Automotive, bringing you here today a 2020 Infiniti QX60 Signature Edition. This vehicle features a 3.5 liter V6 engine with all wheel drive, and there have been no accidents or damages reported to Carfax. As we get closer here to the front of this vehicle, you'll be able to see that it is a bright white clear coat with chroma black accents, as you'll be able to see there on the front grille, as well as down around those fog lights. Those fog lights will help you out in inclement weather, and speaking of inclement weather, we'll come along here to the side and take a look at this vehicle's tires and wheels. This vehicle features silver 18-inch aluminum alloy wheels with dark gray insets, and as for the tire treads, you have got a significant amount of life left in them, but I'll get to those exact measurements in just a second, as this vehicle, along with all the other vehicles here at All Things Automotive, has undergone a new multi-point inspection, as well as received a fresh oil change, a new cabin air filter, and a new engine air filter. So you don't need to worry about replacing any of those anytime soon. Here on the outside of your mirror caps, you do have your turn signal indicators integrated into those. And these mirrors are heated to help prevent them from fogging up as well as to help de-ice them in inclement weather. On the bottom of each of the mirrors on the right side and on the left, you do have cameras to help you whenever you're parking or going in reverse. Over here on the handle, you will notice a small oval there. That is your passive keyless entry, which is really convenient. Basically, if your vehicle is locked, you'll be able to get into it without having to take the keys out of your pocket or your purse. And one last thing before we take a look to the inside of the vehicle here is up there on top, you do have silver roof rails if you ever wanted to transport anything on the top of this vehicle. Well, now take a look here to the inside of this vehicle. Here on the inside of the vehicle, you do have some lovely jet black leather upholstery on these seats for a nice and easy cleanup after any spills. And like I had mentioned earlier, you do have those chrome and black accents making their way up the center of the dashboard. While we're looking over here, I'll just open up the glove box and bring out the results of that multi-point inspection that I was talking about. As you'll be able to see here on this inspection form, you do have green checks the entire way around. And as for your tire treads, you have 11 30 seconds in all of your tires. And as for your brake pads, you have 11 30 seconds in the front and 8 30 seconds in the rear. So you have a long, long ways to go before you need to replace any of those wearables. I'd also like to mention that with the purchase of this vehicle, you do get the original owner's manual, so if you have any questions after you buy, you'll be able to look them up in there. We'll now continue around to take a look here at the rear occupant seating. This vehicle does have three rows of seats to seat a total of seven people. And in this row in particular, if you see two people here instead of three, this metal seat does fold down to become an additional armrest with two cup holders in it. You also have a rear climate control system as well as a USB charging port for their mobile devices and pockets on the backs of both of those front seats. Those cup holders also go back there as well as those charging ports for the far rear row of occupants as well. Over here on the doors, all the doors do have cup holders in them as well as powered windows. I'll now just close this door and we'll continue around to take a look here at the rear of this vehicle. As you may have already noticed, this vehicle does come with a pre-installed tow bar for a trailer hitch hookup or a bike rack if you're interested in either one of those. And you also have rear proximity sensors along the rear of this vehicle. That is what those little dots are and they will let you know if there is anything behind you whenever you're backing up or parking. They are also in the front as well. And you also have a backup camera to go along with that. I'll just put this tailgate up so you can see how much space you have in the rear. And as you'll be able to see, it does go up with the push of a button as you do have a power tailgate with this vehicle. All right, as we take a look here in the back, you do have a small amount of space for some groceries or anything you might want to put back there. And those seats do fold down to give you a lot more space. I'd also like to mention that you do have an under the floorboard compartment back here, as well as a Bose acoustic wave system as well. I'll just put this tailgate back down and we'll continue around here to the driver's side. I would like to mention that with the purchase of this vehicle, you do get two keys for your convenience, and both of them do come with remote start as well. This vehicle does come with powered windows, powered mirrors, and powered door locks. And as for the driver's seat, you do have eight-way powered seating adjustments, so you can put the seat forward backwards, up, down, tilting the seat forward and back, and the two-directional lumbar support. You also have a powered telescopic steering wheel, meaning you can move it in and out, as well as up and down to fit you as you like. And to the left of that steering wheel, you do have, again, that powered tailgate button, electronic stability control toggle, which just helps to prevent skidding and sliding, as well as a heated steering wheel. 
The last thing I would like to point out before I get in the vehicle and turn it on is over here on the door. This vehicle does come with a memory system for your power seating, adjust uh, power seating adjustments, which is really convenient if this vehicle has more than one driver. Basically, all you need to do is set your seat how you like it the first initial time, and from then on, with the push of a button, it will automatically reset to how you initially set it, keeping you from constantly fiddling around with those adjustments. I'll now just get in the vehicle and turn it on for you. This vehicle is a push to start. All right, now that the engine is running and the dashboard's lit up, you'll be able to see this vehicle has about 52,178 miles on it. We'll take our attention over here to the left side of the steering wheel, because over here you do have your dashboard navigation buttons. So with these, you can cycle through all the different information and services this vehicle provides to you. Underneath those dashboard navigation buttons, you do have your volume controls, as well as your Bluetooth and call controls, as this vehicle does have hands-free Bluetooth. And on the right side of the steering wheel are your cruise control buttons there. We'll now take a look here to the center of this vehicle. Here in the center of the vehicle, you do have a lovely touchscreen, LCD display, and you also have built-in navigation with this vehicle as well to help prevent you from ever getting lost. I'll just throw it in reverse to show you that backup camera in action. And not, again, not only do you have that backup camera, but you also have the right side camera and the left side camera as well. Underneath that display, you do have buttons for it as well as your climate control settings there. A bit farther down, you do have a CD player, volume controls there, a bit farther down, a power outlet and USB charging port as well as a small space for something like your phone, your main gear shift, two cup holders, and then your drive mode, and then the front driver's seat and the front passenger seat are both heated. And then a bit farther back, you do have an upper storage compartment and your main lower st storage compartment here with an aux cord plug-in, USB charging port, and another power outlet inside. We'll take a look up here because on the bottom of the mirror, you do have built-in garage door openers with this vehicle. And lastly, taking a look up here at the ceiling, you do have a powered sunroof to really enjoy those sunny summer days. We'll now move on to the last section of this video. Here in the last section of this video, we do want to address that this vehicle is pre-owned, so we'll be looking around for any blemishes, nicks, or stains. We know a lot of our customers come from very far away, so we want to be as transparent and straightforward as we can be with the purchasing process. We want you to know what you're getting with the purchase of this vehicle, imperfections, and all. So as I'm looking around the inside of this vehicle, I do notice that you do have some wear in some places, like by these lights and on this silver accent, as well as some staining here on the inside of that storage compartment. But other than those, nothing else is really standing out to me. So I'll move along to take a look here at the outside of this vehicle. We'll be looking up and down again for any of those imperfections, starting by coming along here to the front of the vehicle. Here along the front of the vehicle, I do notice you have a few small nicks, most likely from stone chipping. Stone chipping is extremely common. Almost every vehicle has some form of it. The only way you can really prevent it is just by not driving your vehicle. This vehicle is also a letter color, so it does tend to show a little more than a darker color might. We'll come along here now to the passenger side. You've got some faint scuffing there on that mirror cap. And a few small nicks around that front passenger side handle, as well as on the rear passenger door. Come along here now to the rear of this vehicle. Now often on SUVs where I do tend to see several imperfections is where the tailgate meets the bumper as people don't take care of putting items in and taking items out. And as I look here, that is the case for this vehicle. You do have quite a bit of scratching here on this black plastic and protective metal. And you do have a lot of that here on this bumper as well. I'll just put the tailgate back down. 
and we'll continue around here back to the driver's side. We do have a nick there. And a few scuffs around that front driver's side handle. And we are back to where we started. That generally concludes this video vehicle tour. This vehicle has a lot of great features to offer. If you're interested in a white mid-size SUV with the ability to seat seven, fold down seats with a good amount of space in the rear, a rear backup camera, powered lift gate, pre-installed tow bar, rear proximity sensors, silver roof rails, built-in navigation, a built-in garage door opener, a powered sunroof, right and left cameras, heated front seats, a rear climate control system, passive keyless entry, and all-wheel drive, this is a good option for you. If you're interested in this vehicle, come and check it out at All Things Automotive. Located at 21518 Great Cove Road, Wakonnellsburg, PA. Or you can give us a call at 717-485-4224. You can also check out this mid-size SUV and other listings on our website at www.allthingsautomotive.com. Thank you for watching this video and have a great day.